Myself real quick. This is how this just shows like how crazy some people some people are just fucking crazy. I'm sorry. I don't I'm not of the I'm not of the ideology that um people who are like trans or whatever like that or anybody of that of nature are like mentally ill or anything like that. That that's not what I, I think, right? But some people we gotta admit some people do have mental illness. And it just goes beyond their ideology of how they feel about their self. Like let me show let me show this school board shit real quick. Plays the plays, let's get it. I am offended that our children are not receiving affordable gender reassignment surgery along with hormone blockers and access to abortions. This alone is a threat to our democracy. It just shows that you people do not care about our children and that these, these are the same people who refuse to obey the science and get fully vaccinated. It's science, people! Science! Science! That's, that, see, that's, 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 like, let's, let's give it up. That's a mental illness. I don't understand. He's talking about children's rights. He's talking about gender, hormone blockers, yada, yada, yada. And then he brought up abortion. I don't know what kids and abortion have to do with anything. That's mental illness. Like, let's keep it up. That guy has mental instabilities. I'm sorry. Now, Somebody can show me a video where this guy's trolling and maybe it's just a troll to mock how some of these people look when they're at these things. Right. But if that guy is real, that guy is mentally unstable. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. He brings the vaccine, like all this other shit. Like he's pretty much bringing every talking point that nobody's trying to fucking hear. And something's wrong with that guy. And these are some of the people that are the loud minority that are getting politicians to move and react and do shit that they wouldn't normally do, but they feel like it's the right thing to do. They feel like, oh, that's the thing that has to happen. That's the most progressive thing that people are going to like. No, people want regular shit. If you're a per like I said, if you're a person who wants to ban gay people and do all that, ban trans people now from sports, that's a different story, but ban them from whatever, whatever, and you hate them, whatever. I think you're a piece of shit person. But to say that I'm a piece of shit because I don't want kindergarten and third graders to be exposed to things of that nature at that young of age, that's something that their parents should decide. I just can't get down with that. And if that was in my state and I had people who were pushing for that, and I'm going to be looking come 2022, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be looking for people like that. Because you got to be aware. I don't want whoever's pushing for like Beto, right? We got Beto running for governor of Texas. He's putting on, she's trying to, he's trying to get into it. Like trans kids, lives matter. shit like that. I'm not against it. If your kid's trans, love them. Peace and love. I'm not against him. But if he's sitting up there and they're doing a debate, him and Abbott, and he's discussing, well, if COVID happens, give me a lockdown the state, do all that shit. I don't want him to be the governor of Texas. I don't care. Y'all can talk shit about Abbott. Y'all can say Abbott's a piece of shit for the border. Abbott's a piece of shit for saying that um, he's looking into investigating parents who allow their kids to go through gender uh, transition therapy. Yeah, that's bad, right? Sorry for you guys. I'm not in that situation. I'm in a situation of I don't want to deal. I don't want to be in New York. I don't want to be a California. I don't want to deal with, like, they were still having lockdown shit. I don't want to deal with that shit. I'm sorry. I'm going to vote for what is in my best interest. I'm not going to vote for what's in interest of, like, a small minority of people. I know it's bad. I know it's fucked up to say. But let's keep it a buck. I'm tired of beating around the bush. Everybody is, needs to focus on what they, they focus on within their life. And then, you know, it's going to work itself out that way. I'm sorry. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's how life works. And I can't really sugarcut it no, no other way. The border shit. It's fucked up what's going on there, but like, even if Beto became the governor of Texas, ain't shit he's gonna really do to fix the border. Biden became president, what the fuck did he do to fix the border? The shit's the same or worse than what it was with Trump. Like, let's keep it up. It's all lip service. They've done, they don't even know what the fuck to do about the border. They sit here and talk, oh, with the border, we're gonna do this. And when they get in, shit's still fucked up. Or they reenact the same policies that Trump did. What's going on here? So, in 2022, Vote your interests. Don't vote what you think is going to make you look good morally to your, your fucking peers, your classmates or whatever. Vote what's in your best interest. Praise God, bro.